No, no, you can't just have moves that are 85 BP and double when you move first. Haha, <laughs> Ficious Ren and Bulfy go. <laughs> Hello friends, uh, today we're going to be playing Doubles UU on Pokemon Showdown, and I've got quite an interesting team that I built myself, and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, if you want to skip this theory crafting stuff, just go to the time that's shown on screen. Uh, anyways, let's see. We have Politoed, an offensive choice specs variant, which is probably not very common. Probably not the most common variant out there, but uh, yeah. We have... Uh, Arctivish of the, um, so Arctivish, uh, Dracozolt, Dracovish, and Arctizolt are the four Galar fossils, and they have, they're kind of famous for being strong, because Ficious Rend and Bolt Beak, their signature moves, are 85 base power, but if the user moves first, they double to a hum 150 power. Now, most people use Choice Scarf or Sand Rush, on these Pokemon because they have Sand Rush and Slush Rush to make them faster in their respective weather. But uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually under investing in their speed. As you can see, I have zero speed EVs and zero, and uh, sorry, a negative speed nature so that they're as slow as possible. And we're going to use them in Trick Room because Trick Room flips the speed of all Pokemon. So basically, uh, Trick Room is a move that. It says it twists the dimensions, and it makes the moves, um, the slowest Pokemon move first, and the fastest Pokemon move last. And so, uh, Ficious Ren and Bulbeak are based off of moving first, and not off of speed, so that's why this works. So this is Arctivish, it has Ficious Ren, and it's in Doubles UU, Dracovish's band, of course. Uh, this is Indeedee, the male variant. The female variant gets uh, Follow Me, which is why it's um, going, it's banned to OU, and this one's in UU because it doesn't have follow me, so it's considered inferior, but it still works here. Uh, it sets up the Psychic Surge, which prevents priority moves, which is important for Trick Room, as well as, uh, setting up the Trick Room itself. The other half of the Setter Duo is the Aromatisse. It's very ugly, I know. But, um, Aromatisse is basically the pseudo Hatterin out of the, uh, NGD Hatterin combo. So in doubles OU, people use Ndidi female and Hatterin to set up Trick Room very reliably because Ndidi can use Follow Me to redirect attacks away from Hatterin and set up the Psychic Terrain while Hatterin clicks the Trick Room and it has a Magic Bounce ability which prevents Taunt. So now Aroma Veil on Aromatisse is kind of meant to copy that because Aroma Veil prevents, let's see, it says it prevents Attract, Disable, Encore, Heal, Block, Taunt, and Torment. Uh, Kingdra. This team is considered Semi-Room, so that's why I have a fast Kingdra here. So Semi-Room means that some of the Pokemon are slow, and usually most of them are slow to abuse Trick Room, but then there are a couple fast attackers just in case Trick Room can't get set up, or after Trick Room ends. So that's what Kingdra's for. And, um... It works well with the offensive Politoed because Politoed sets the rain to s activate Kingdra Swift Swim. And with the specs and it's like pretty okay-ish speed, Politoed works well in Trick Room and out of it. And uh, Dracozolt is one of those uh, Galar fossils I was talking about with Bolt Beak, Low Kick, Dragon Claw, and Horsepower. High Horsepower. And so yeah, that's my team. That's how it works. And uh, let's get into the battles. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is going to be quite interesting, because there's the uh, neutralizing gas wheezing, which could cause trouble for us. Uh, I think... What are we going to lead off? I think we're going to set up Trick Room, because I think most of these mons are pretty fast. So we're going to set up Trick Room and lead with Indeedee and Aromatisse. Uh, let's see. Grimmsnarl is going to be a problem, too. Okay, wheezing comes out. Does not activate our Psychic Surge, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to click Trick Room, and we're going to click Expanding Force to target down that Weezing. Perhaps get some damage off. I hope, I think Regigigas will protect this turn. Because it wants, oh wait, no. Uh, Weez, I think I'm going to target Weezing, actually, because I think, or target Regigigas, because I think Weezing is going to protect. It wants to stay on the field as long as possible, because Neutralizing Gas disables all abilities, and that disables Regigigas' horrible ability in Slow Start. 
Okay. Nice. Well, these are sash, so that doesn't matter. And uh, Trick Room goes up. Nice, nice. Uh, I think I'm going to use Fake Tears into Regigigas. And then click... Uh, I think... And then I click Hyper Voice. Actually, Expanding Force is my best move, even without the terrain. So I'm going to use Fake Tears and cut uh, Regigigas' special defense in half as I go for the attack onto it. Fake Tears cuts its special defense in half and does that much damage. Regigigas is going to click Earthquake, taking out our Indeedee, which is fine, because we can just attack. We can just attack them pretty well now. Uh, we're going to go to Arctivish here, and we're going to Moonblast into the Regigigas with the Have Special Defense, and we're going to Fish this Red into the Weezing, which will be 150 power if we underspeed it into Trick Room. Which we should, because I'm not sure. We might be. We might be faster, which is slower in Trick Room. Okay. Nice, we're faster in Trick Room, and we click Fish's Ren, doing 81%. And Sludge Bomb takes out our Aromatisse, which is actually completely fine, because now we get a free switch into our Dracozolt. Okay. This is uh, the music you hear right now. It's the Pokemon X and Y Elite Four theme, which is really good, but the problem is... In that game, the Elite Four is so easy that you you win before they even get their cool. They they even you can even hear the cool part of the music. Okay, uh, we're gonna click high horse power onto this slow bro because it's probably slower than us, which will be faster in Trick Room, and then we'll fish this run the wheezing. Oh shoot! Quick claw. Shell side on. Special. Okay, we're gonna click high horse power, which is super effective. Does quite a lot of damage. Uh, Trick Room ends after this turn, but I think, uh, Politoed and Kingdra take care of everything else. High Horsepower into Slowbro, Ficious Ren into Weezing. Okay. Ficious Ren, nice. Don't miss High Horsepower. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. Where are we gonna go to now? We're gonna go to, uh, Politoed. I... Uh, Latios coming out. Politoed. Grim Snarl. Uh, I think Latios hits us with a dragon move, right? So I think we'll uh, sack and then click Ice Beam into the Latios. And after Latios is down, I think we can just spam Muddy Waters. Actually, Grimmsnarl's... No, we Dragon Claw plus Ice Beam into Latios. Come on, make a move. Click something. Come on, don't leave me hanging. I need content for my YouTube channel. Come on. Please, do something. Nice. A uh, light screen, that's fine. Oop, we live. Ice Beam into Latios, nice. Dragon Claw hits the Latios. Perfect, perfect. Now we have, um, yeah, we have Victinian. Okay. Uh, now we need to, I think we just get as much damage onto Grim Snarl as we can. So, I think Victini's gonna take one of us out. Uh, could be Bolt Strike into Politoed, actually. I'm gonna Ice Beam and Bolt Beak into Grim Snarl. Okay, Psychic, that's fine. How good is Victini as a special attacker? Let me check. Oh, it's just like all base 100, so yeah, I guess it's pretty decent. Doesn't get to take advantage of V-Create, though. Okay, we're gonna click Muddy Water Ice Beam. That's our only play. I hope this does enough damage to Grim Snarl that we can take it out. Okay, Victini almost down. Gets the accuracy drop, which is nice. Psychic into Kingdra. Ooh, we outspeed Grim Snarl. I was scared of potentially getting hit by Spirit Break there. And Muddy Water. Nope, forfeit. And GG's. Okay, let's see what we got here. I think this is just considered rain. Uh, yeah, it's just probably rain. Okay, we'll see what we can do. 
Uh, I'm actually not 100% sure what we want to start with here. Okay. Uh... Ooh, this is tough. I think we need to set up Trick Room, because Kingdra's gonna kill us if we don't. Yeah, Kingdra's gonna outspeed and kill everything if we don't set up Trick Room right now. Okay, Scizor. Gyarados. Indeedy. Do this. Okay. We're gonna start off with clicking Trick Room on the Aromatisse and clicking Expanding Force on Indeedy. Uh, I think the worst Scizor can do is like U turn or X Scizor onto Indeedy. Okay, Waterfall. Expanding Force. Alright, this is probably U turn. Yep, nice. And Aromatisse is able to set up the Trick Room now. Okay, Malamar, that's fine. We're gonna go to Zolt. Uh, they don't really have an electric resist, besides the the weird or uh, Dragalgy, I think it's called. So we're gonna Moonblast into the Malamar and click Bolt Beak onto Gyarados. Yep, Dragalgy switch in. That's fine. I could have predicted that, but I didn't want to. Nice. Still does a lot for a resisted attack. And I think it's in range for one of Aromatisses' moon Aroma Aromatisses. Let me say that again. Aromatisses' moon blasts. And it's Sash, so Gyarados is gonna take a bolt beat this turn. Okay, actually not in range. And we get taken out by crit. Unfortunate. I spang into Aromatis. Okay, this is kinda bad now. Moon blasts take out Dragalgy. Uh fishes ran into Gyarados. Hopefully this takes it out. This Vicious Rend is just such a powerful move. Okay, two turns of Trick Room left. Let's see what we can do. Okay, Scizor switches in. That's fine. Okay, no more Scizor. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna... Okay, so we need to worry about Gyarados intimidating us, and we need to worry about Politoed. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do is switch to our own Politoed to preserve a Aromatisse for later, and hopefully get the Kingdra Sweep. Uh, get or avoid the Kingdra Sweep. Uh, we're going to go to we're going to go uh, to Politoed now, and click Vicious Ren into Gyarados. Nice, pretty good damage, especially after the Intimidate. Water Absorb, nice, nice. Uh, accuracy drop is bad. Power whip misses, which is really good. And, uh... Okay, Trick Room's down. We're gonna click Muddy Water, hopefully no misses. And we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna hit the Politoed with Vicious Ren. I think it's slower. Okay, that, that would've killed last turn. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty happy that missed. Okay. Uh, Vicious Ren, Politoed, gonna do nothing. We miss a Gyarados too, which is unfortunate. Vicious Ren, 30%. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay. Muddy Water, Fish's Ren, again. I think we still have a win condition, because if we can get rid of these two for in this turn, uh, we can spring out Kingdra and Aromatisse, and Kingdra either has to choose between uh, taking out our own Kingdra and uh, being and then being susceptible to Trick Room plus Moonblast, or it takes out Aromatisse, and our Kingdra is able to hit it with Draco Meteor for free. So, yeah. Still, kind of a bad situation we're in. Especially with the accuracy drops. We need to get that last bit of damage onto them. Okay, Earth Power, Politoed. No misses? Okay, it misses the Gyarados. That's the exact thing we needed it to not miss. Okay, not, not a bad situation though, because we can hit Muddy Water, Muddy Water now. I think that's our play, right? Yeah, Muddy Water misses Gyarados again. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Okay, Power Whip, that's bad. No misses, no misses, no misses. Okay, Speed Drop is also very, very bad. And the Muddy Water miss, double miss. Really, really bad. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, 
Uh, I think Kingdra can... If Kingdra does not miss any of them, I think we still have a chance to win. Alright, Kingdra, I'm praying. You've missed before. Don't miss. Please, just don't miss. Come on. Okay. I think that's our win condition right now. Okay. Okay, we're slower. We're definitely slower than this Kingdra. I'm going to Muddy Water, and hopefully the Kingdra goes for a Draco Meteor or or a Muddy Water at the Aromatisse. Or, or Draco Meteor at the Aromatisse or Dragon Pulse. Yeah, nice, nice. Get that Muddy Water chip damage, nice. Uh, we're going to click Muddy Water. We're going to switch in Kingdra to the other slot and click Moonblast. Okay, miss. Nice. Whew! That's a lot of damage. And we get the special attack drop. I don't know if this... It might be a speed tie, but even if we lose the speed tie... Yeah, forfeit. <sighs> that was so... That was so nerve-wracking. And yeah, GG's. Geez, uh... Yeah. Wow. Okay, here we are again. I think I fought this person before. Earlier today. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Trick Room Chandelure? I don't think so. Everything looks pretty fast on this team. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, GLHF. Good luck. Have fun. And, uh, we'll see. Okay, Gyarados. Weavile. Alright, uh, Weavile is probably going to knock off onto the Indeedee. So I think it's safer to click Trick Room with Aromatisse this turn, as it usually is. Because Aromatisse is a lot bulkier and it's a lot slower. Okay, Triple Axle. Going to break our Focus Sash and do enough damage to take us out. Okay, we're set. Okay, Gyarados Dragon Dances. That's perfect. Okay, Trick Room's up. Okay, go into this. Click Bolt Beak. And then click Moonblast into Weavile. Okay, Toga tomorrow. Oh gosh, it has Lightning Rod! No! Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Most of the ones I've seen are like the level 1 sturdy Toga tomorrows. Okay. Dragon Claw. Moonblast. We should be faster in Trick Room. We should be faster in Trick Room. Oh boy, my back. Okay. <laughs> what will Bonk do? <laughs> Okay, uh, alright, move blast. Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw. Do stuff, do stuff. Nice, okay. Uh, Togedomaru t <gasps> Endeavor. <laughs> okay. So as long as Togedomaru is on the field, we cannot, we cannot, uh, use electric moves. Okay. Bubblegum Pop. Interesting names. I love these names. Okay. Uh, Drake is old. What will Drake is old do? Uh, I think we high horsepower into the Togo tomorrow, and Moonblast into the Sylveon for damage. Alright, nice. High horsepower. Miss. 5%, unfortunate. That takes us out. Okay. Okay, this is bad. Uh, actually not too bad. Because Trick Room's about to end. We're gonna fish this rend. Muddy water. Actually, fish, fish this rend earth power. Because we have four times super effective move for Togedomaru. Earth power into Togedomaru, Ficious Rend into Sylveon, and nothing wants to switch into a Ficious Rend. That, that's my knuckles popping. Okay. <sighs> okay. All these battles have been so stressful and close. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Let's see what they're going to do. Uh, timer's ticking down. 
Yeah, I always was surprised to know that uh, Togedom, or Politoed learned uh, Earth power. Okay, Twisted Dimensions return to normal, and Psychic Terrain leaves the battlefield. What's gonna happen now? What's gonna happen now? Okay, Weavile. I think this has low kick. We're gonna Ficious Rend and Earth Power. We're gonna double target Sylveon. Okay, loss of life orb kinda sucks. Okay, we tank that. Nice. Ficious Rend in the rain. Nice. Okay, we have Scizor, Weavile, and a Chandelure to deal with. Which is named Luigi, which is very cool. Uh, we're gonna Earth Power into the Chandelure. And we're gonna fish this Ren the Weavile. Okay, Weavile took us out. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Oh no, they have their own trick room. That's so bad. Oh no. Uh, luckily, Politoed's pretty decently fast in trick room, because I set mine to be minimum speed. The only problem is we're locked into Earth Power, which isn't the best move we could be using right now. Earth Power? Nice. Oh, we were slower than the Chandelure. Okay, knockoff takes away our life orb. And we miss. Unfortunate. How much did knockoff do? 57. We're not living another one. Uh, what I can do is bait out another knockoff and hopefully protect Kingdra for another turn. Hopefully get a special defense drop. Protect. knock off our choice specs which is actually very good cuz uh oh and the rain ends so we're actually slower than weavile now okay this is good okay muddy water and muddy water uh actually i think i'm going to try and hydro pump scissor no miss bullet punch no miss nice muddy waters misses weavile again okay this is okay Unless we vile Sash, I think it goes down to a Hydro Pump. Nope, Ice Shard. GG's. GG. Yeah, that was really, really close. Okay, here we are. Let's go. Oh boy, looks like Shedinja strats. Oh boy, I hate Shedinja so much in doubles, because ally switch and whatever. Stupidest move in doubles. Wait, do we have anything to hit Shedinja? Actually, wait. Do I have anything to hit Shedinja? Can I hit Shedinja? Oh wait, I have Toxic, I have Toxic. We're good. I was a little worried for a second there. Okay, uh, set up Trick Room. Yeah, Toxic just like eviscerate Shedinja. <laughs> I was so worried. So worried for no reason. Okay. Uh, that means we can't let Aromatis die before we can get off a trip or get off the toxic into Shedinja. Shedinja bit Shedinja. Okay. Alchemy. Swoobat. Okay, we're gonna set up Trick Room and then we're gonna click uh we're gonna click Shadow Ball into the Swoobat. So the thing is, Swoobat has an ability called Simple, which doubles any stat changes. So Alchemy is going to uh, use Decorate onto the Swoobat, giving it plus four special attack. In. Wow, okay, never mind. bye-bye. So what I was planning to do was use Fake Tears into the, um, into the Swoobat to dro drop its special defense by four, but I guess that's not necessary. Okay. Skill swap. Okay, what what was that? Okay. Uh, it probably gave Sturdy to the Alchemy just now, that Carbink. So we're going to fish this rend into the Alchemy and click Expanding Force. Yeah, Shedinja. Okay. Uh, Shedinja with Wonder Guard, that's fine, because we have Toxic. So Toxic just gets rid of Shedinja in one turn. Okay, Zolt. Icicle Crash. Shadow Ball. Please don't ally switch. I hate ally switch. Miss! Shadow Ball? No Sash. That's fine. And Volpeak takes us out because we missed the... We missed the freaking... Okay. Okay. Uh, we have Trick Room ready. 
Draco's ult. So we're going to click Dragon Claw, Expanding Force. See this face? This is the face of a man who has been hurt by Ally Switch to Dinja. He has a history with it. Okay. Expanding Force. Leech Seed. That's not going to do very much. And, uh... Oh, boy. Okay, ex uh, terrain's gone. Uh, high horsepower, carbink. Go to Aromatisse, and then bring in Ndidi again to disable Comfy's attacks. Sturdy. <gasps> they were expecting me to Bolt Beak into it, so they skill swapped the Volt Absorb. That was really smart, actually. Okay, we're gonna go back to Ndidi and set up the Psychic Terrain so Comfy can't use its triage boosted Draining Kisses, because triage gives them priority. Thief. That's really weird. Why do they keep trying to steal our items? Alright, and expanding force, Moonblast into the Comfy. And that's GG's. Yep. I wonder what their gimmick was going to be. I think they were trying to like skill swap Sturdy onto the Shedinja, but uh, skill, squ sk bleh, skill swap does not work on uh, Shedinja. Maybe Alchemy gets Entrainment, because uh, Entrainment works on Shedinja, and maybe they're trying to get a Sturdy Shedinja. Which um, can't get hit by any attacks, but it dies immediately to Sandstorm or Toxic. Actually, I can check. Um, uh, if we go to Alchemy and we go to the Pokedex. Uh, Misty Explosion, Wonder Room. What were we looking for? I, I really forgot. Um, oh, right. Yeah. So, what it was, so I think what they were trying to do was... Uh, Go with a uh, skill swapping sturdy to Alchemy and then have Alchemy entrain the sturdy onto Shedinja. So that was a pretty interesting strat. Don't know why they didn't include a focus sash as backup. But uh, yeah, that's GG's. Alright, here we are. Uh, looks like a Sun team with a Raquinid, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure why they use a Raquinid on a Sun team. Actually, an earlier version of this team used Araquanid, but I like the raw power of Arctivish better. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. I think we start off by setting up Trick Room, right? Because, like, only Araquanid likes Trick Room in this scenario. Okay, Butterfree. That's a problem. I think they're likely to um, Sleep Powder onto Indeedee. So a Trick Room on the Aromatisse. Because many people forget um, Aromatisse has Trick Room, and they think only Indeedee has it. Okay. Nice, perfect. See, they sleep powder into there. Ah! Doubles. <laughs> My Ethernet cable disconnected. Hold up. Double sleep. That's so bad. I hate, I hate sleep in Pokemon, and I hate, I specifically have a problem with the move Hypnosis for some reason. Okay, let me try and reconnect. Oh boy. We're back to default music, boys. Uh, okay. What are we gonna do here? Uh, okay, hope for a quick wake up. We're guaranteed to both be asleep this turn. Okay, double switch, that's fine. Okay, expanding force into the Venusaur on the first turn wake up. And we do get uh, that happen. We have that happen. Okay, we're gonna expanding force trick room again. Hopefully we uh, don't get taken out by Sludge Bomb. And hopefully our th um, Aromatisse wakes up this turn. This music's so good, okay. And uh, the important part is we chipped a Raquinid, which is like the one thing that can give us Trick Room problems. Okay, okay. We're still in this, we're still in this. I think it might be smarter to actually use Trick Room on Indeedy this time. Because they're going to double target that Aromatisse, I think. Nope, not double target, but we're good. Sash, Sash. Uh, Arum, our Raquinid gets a lot of health back. Okay, we do get we do get rid of the Venusaur, and Trick Room goes up. Nice. Uh, 
minimum speed of Raquinid is 80. Minimum speed Aromatisse is, um, is 56. So Aromatisse will be faster. Um, okay. So, uh, and Didi's probably going down this turn. We click Moonblast into a Raquinid. Nice. Icy Wind makes us even slower, which makes us faster in Trick Room. It's so hard to, like, keep saying that. Okay. Nice. What are we gonna do now? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Butterfree? Okay. Okay. We need to double target this now. It's probably sashed. Vicious Ren, Bolt Beak, into the Butterfree. If, if it's not sashed, then one of the moves will take it out anyway, and it'll just automatically redirect. Okay, nice. Get a Bolt Beak into a Raccoonid. Oh, Water Absorb, nice. People forget it has Water Absorb, or just don't expect this one to have Water Absorb. Okay, Sun's still up. Sun's gonna... Yeah, Sun's up. Okay. Yeah, okay. Still in this. Ninetales and Heliolisk. We're gonna Ficious Ren the Heliolisk and bring in Politoed to set up the rain and strengthen our Ficious Ren. I think we win now, because even if they stall out the Trick Room, this team just, like, loses to the fast mode. Especially now, because... Okay, Ninetales just, like, killed itself. But especially now, because... Yeah, GG. Yeah, um, yeah. So basically, they were screwed, because, like, Ninetales can't switch out anymore, because there's two Pokemon left. They can't set up the Sun anymore. And even if they stall the Trick Room, I have a Kingdra in the back. So yeah, uh, GG's Mr. Universe 14. Oh, it's that guy. Oh my gosh, I forgot to turn on my speakers. It's the same guy from the beginning of the video. So, uh, let's see if uh, we can win against them this time. Okay, uh, we have to deal with abilities being disabled. I think we send out our dragons this turn. Or our, not, not our dragons. No, I'm, um, okay, Snarl, Slowbro, Salt, Fish, okay. High horsepower, Iron Head. Cause they're, yeah, okay. They have a chance of moving faster. Okay. All right. Okay, Latios comes in. Unfortunate. Uh, we are gonna take the Iron Head onto Grim Snarl though. Nice. Okay. Uh, Dragon Claw, Icicle Crash. Or actually, Bolt Beak, Icicle Crash. Cause, yeah. Okay, no Icicle Crash miss, please. That's all I'm asking for. No Icicle Crash miss. I probably should have started out with the Trick Room lead, but I was scared that they were going to start with the Neutralizing Gas again. Draco into the Vish for some reason. Wolf Beak into the Grim Snarl. And Isaac Crash, don't miss. Miss. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We're in backup mode now. Okay. Okay, boys. This is kind of bad. Okay, Weezing coming out of the field, disabling abilities, which is fine. Dragon Claw. Iron Head. I think that's... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Oh, too late to cancel. I was going to click... I changed my mind, because I think I realized I could have clicked Psychic Fangs to get rid of the screens. But it wouldn't have mattered, because uh, they took us out. Okay. Okay, we're going to go like this, and like this. Going to protect... And then, uh, Earth Power the Weezing. Because th they want to click Draco plus uh, Dazzling Gleam into Kingdra right now. Yeah, Draco. Earth Power, nice. Dazzling Gleam, yep. Okay, this turn I'm going to switch into Aromatisse to take that Draco. And click Earth Power to get rid of the Weezing and re-enable all our abilities. Re-enable our abilities. Okay, Reggie Gigas. That means Weezing protects, right? Yep, unfortunate. Okay. Alright, problem. How are we gonna kill this? Uh, fake Tears of Earth Power. All right. Actually, 
actually Trick Room Earth Power. Because we have Toad and Trick Room. Right, facade, that's fine. Earth Power does not take out losing, losing Sludge Bomb. Okay. We have, we have a little bit better board positioning now. We can fake tears, hydro pump, I think, or earth power. Actually, I'm gonna reposition and bring in Indeedy. Uh, yeah, this is really awkward. Okay, Indeedy, bring up the psychic terrain. Actually, no psychic terrain, because, you know, wheezing. Okay, facade. That's fine. Um, attack the Weezing, take it out this turn. Uh, without the slow start, Weezing is just a really slow in Trick Room, because it's fastish. Uh, what's its speed? Yeah, minimum speed 184, and it's probably not speed minimized. Okay, take out the Weezing. Okay, we could have used that, we wasted that move last, basically. Okay. Okay. And Rigigigas, slow start will reactivate. And Drain Punch into Ndidi, that's fine. Okay, we have two more turns of Trick Room, which is actually... It's like perfect, because like then we can have Fast Kingdra uh, destroy things at the end. Okay, I feel like slow... Nope, Victini. Okay. Need you to hit this Hydro Pump, Politoed. Need you to hit it. Please, hit it. Okay? Need you to hit this one, buddy. Please. Come on, hit the hydro, and then, uh, oh, nice, we live. Hit the hydro, let's, let's go. I love you, Politoed. Expanding force does a whole lot of damage. Slow, bro. Uh, okay, this is where it gets a little dicey, because this, we could get taken out this turn. Skill swap, oh boy. Hydro bump, nice. Expanding force, nice. And now we can have... Uh, Trick Room goes down at the perfect time. Now we can have King Dredge just free reign to Draco onto that uh, Latios. Okay. Hydro, Shadow Ball. Get get as much damage off as we can before we go down. I don't think the Latios has a spread move other than Surf, and I'm not sure this one has Surf. Thunderbolt, yeah. Shadow Ball. Nice! And now that is definitely range for Kingdra's Draco Meteor. As long as it doesn't miss. And we can Shadow Ball. And that's GG's. Yep. Wow. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of it. Uh, tell me what you think I should do for my next video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.